Welcome to the nightclub guys, it's your host, The Night Wrencher. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys where and how to download the Daytona Sensor software. The website is a little bit finicky, uh, kind of clunky, so we're going to go ahead and go through this together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Daytona slash sensors.com. Uh, you could probably just go into Google, uh, Bing, whatever, Daytona Sensors, and it should take you to their main website. From there, you're actually going to want to go into products. You're going to want to highlight uh, Smart Spark LS control module. Go ahead and click that. And then it's going to take you to the screen that just basically uh, promotes the SSLS. You're going to go down, 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 and you're going to go to software downloads right here on the right. You're going to go ahead and click that. Then you're going to go ahead and go down through here. And it's basically going to give you a list of all the different software that they offer. The one you're going to be looking for is the one right under CD1. It's the Smart Smart LS control module software. And you're going to want to download every single one of these. So the first one is a USB interface. And that's basically the drivers that will tell your laptop or desktop, whatever. Uh, it allows the communication to happen. The second one is the data logging software. And the third one is the PC link which is the actual tuning software. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download all three. Right here to the right, uh, it's got the tech tips and instructions. So uh, my SSLS came with an instruction booklet, but if yours did not, you can go ahead and just hit instructions and it'll take you to another screen that gives you instructions for every single item individually. Go to SSLS uh, control module kit, view instructions, and it'll basically give you the entire uh, instruction booklet. If you guys get a chance, go ahead and even if you don't own the software or the hardware and you wanna learn a little bit about it, uh, definitely a good read, a lot of really good information here. Uh, another really cool thing that they have on here are the tech tips. Uh, so if it'll take you to the screen that basically has technical notes and tips, uh, it'll give you a reference for tuning books that you can buy, uh, describes your one year warranty, their tuning guidelines is actually a really good uh, piece of information. It, it gives you a lot of general info for when you're deciding on how to tune not only the ignition, but the uh, deciding what octane to use, uh, where to set your AFR. Uh, a lot of really good info is on here. Another thing you're going to want to look at are the tech notes. So it'll be here, the technical notes and tips. If you go ahead and click that, then click SSLS right there, and then go ahead and click learn more. It basically has a, a pretty uh, quick rundown of everything the box can do, uh, all the features it can do, a quick comparison of the 6010 and the 6012 offered by MSD, a couple different uh, options that you can get uh, it, its new uh, data logging software and a couple other pieces. If you guys get the chance, go ahead and read that. Anyway, jumping back, after you go ahead and download all three of these items, you're going to want to run the interface first. It'll be the, the red circle. So all of these, when you do it, uh, right click and hit run as administer, just so you don't um, run into any kind of issues. So you're just going to hit yes, you're going to hit extract, you're going to hit next. There's no options, uh, so it's just go, go, go. So you're going to finish that one. The next one we're going to go ahead, uh, let's see, it might not, sometimes this comes up, you just go ahead and re, uh, reinstall using recommended settings. It's not a big deal, it just makes you do it all over again on your own, and it says finished. Okay, I have to do that on both of my computers twice for some reason. Uh, not a big deal. So the next one you're going to want to do, you can either pick the, uh, the ignition module log, or you can pick the PC link. So we're going to do PC link. So like I said before, run as administer, go ahead and hit yes, prepare to install. Um, and it's just, it's really fast, not difficult at all. And there's, it doesn't even ask you where do you want to install it, just go, 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 go. So like I said before, it should be pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, my, I already happen to have the software, so I'm just gonna hit uh, modify. Uh, next, install, and finish. So the last one's gonna be the log, the data logging software. We're gonna go ahead and run that. 
Uh, and it's basically the same thing. This is probably a little bit faster. I'm just gonna hit modify. On yours, it'll just say install from the get go. And then you've got all three good to go. Once you install the software, you're gonna have uh, these two little icons appear on your desktop. One's gonna be the data logging software, this little chart right here with the different bar graphs. This is gonna give you like a tack signal. It's gonna give you uh, what the map is reading, uh, where's your timing at, stuff like that. And you're gonna be able to record it while it's running. And then right here on the next one, uh, this red, green, and yellow one that kind of looks like the three little worms. Though that's a 3D timing graph, and then that's gonna be your tuning software. So installation, I had to jump through a couple hoops to figure all this out, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and take care of this. Uh, this is this video is coming, I'm gonna get uploaded uh, accompanying a second video with the actual tuning software. So hope to see you guys all in the next video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.